What a picture. It took a long time to clean Thomas properly, and the twins kept teasing him until Edward told them to stop. A party of railway enthusiasts is coming soon, he said. I shan't bring them unless you behave. Bill and Ben were excited. Enthusiasts always made a fuss of them and took their photographs. When they squeaked in unison, Edward smiled and winked at Thomas. Next week, he said, but not if you don't behave. Bill and Ben promised that they would. Is it next week? Eek, eek, they asked Thomas each morning. Thomas loved keeping the twins in suspense. Next week never comes, he would, would say mysteriously. Bill and Ben won't worry. They kept urging their crews to polish them. What's the hurry, they laughed. If the enthusiasts aren't going to eat their breakfasts off, you, you, you know. No, Bill whispered, but they mind if we were Thomas. The twins thought this a huge joke. It was lucky that Edward and Thomas weren't there to hear it. At last, the day came, and the drivers and firemen agreed to give the engines an extra polish. They were sparkling when Thomas arrived with the special train. Many of the enthusiasts had notebooks, and almost all had cameras. Bill and Ben didn't know which way to look, but they loved it. Then the, vi the visitors queued for, up for a ride, and either Bill and Ben's Bill or Ben's cab. Their caps were low, and several visitors forgot to duck, but they, seemed, but they didn't seem to mind. The enthusiast visit was almost over when a shunter came running up. A ship needs moving before the tide goes down, he said. One of you seen it into it, please. Please. Ben ran at once, and most of the visitors went too to watch. Only one man stayed. He had a camera, which took instant pictures. Just one more. More he kept saying, soon even Bill tired Heard of him. The photographer screwed his camera to a tripod. How important it to Bill. This is it, he told. What a picture. Ben's farming and ran up to them. Ben needs help, he said. The ship's go going to ground, and, and he can't move it on his own. Right, Bill, says the driver. We can't wait any longer. He turned a tap, and with a hiss and a war, ben, ben vanished in a cloud of steam. moment the photographer pressed the button when the steam had cleared Ben was hurt Bill was hurrying you have to help his twin the photographer peeled, peeled the cover from his instant picture he looked at it and threw it down in disgust quickly the engines were coupled together when I say heave heave instructed Ben one, two, three, heave! Come on, come on, the puffed the engines. The cable tying the stretch at last with the shelter. The ship slipped out of the mud and, and towed by the engines, glided high, deeper water. Bill's driver discolored the photograph on the floor. All it show, show was a all chose a cloud seam and very dimly he was bent Bill's phone at the top. He showed it to Bill. What a picture, remarked Bill to no one in particular.